beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Amina and on my channel I talk about my journey moving from the United States to now living in Ecuador and being an expat and the future world travels that will come on this video I'm talking about my journey living in a hostel for three weeks definitely out of my comfort zone um, I for the U.S. and just like the lifestyle I lived is very different than the lifestyle here in Ecuador and the place I'm staying at. So um, I'm going to be talking about some of the challenges, some of the, the great parts and just seeing how much I've changed throughout this time being here. The reason I moved here is number one, the cost. Um, everyone that's seen my channel probably seen my um, apartment tour. If you haven't, you can check it out right here. So it's gonna be above my hair somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's on this side. <laughs> um, but um, I stay in a nice apartment. And while it was nice, and the reason I stayed there, I think as long as I did, was because of the safety it offered. Um, not only was there 24 hour um, front desk um, security, like you had to have a thing to even get onto the elevators and it's just it just offered a level of safety that um i felt was needed um with this being my first not my first time leaving the country alone but my first my first time i don't know it just was something um so I do have my own room, which I'm happy about. I will show you guys that tomorrow because right now it is still a work in progress. But um, I do have my own room. I share a bathroom with one other person, which isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, I kind of went from this like pretty nice one bedroom, very clean, very on the seventh floor of a condo building apartment to staying in this hostel. Some of the differences, um, number one is being around people. Um, especially because of COVID, I've made it a, definitely a habit to not only stay around people, but I mean, that had an impact on where I live because I didn't have roommates or things like that and worry about COVID. So that's number one. Number two, um, just the environment itself. It's a lot more of an open type of environment. So like they keep the windows open and different things. Like in my room, I keep my window open. I actually used to air conditioner right up there um but in general like most of the hostel is very open so like um luckily though i do have a screen on my window that's one thing um but, but yeah it's pretty open so at night time i have to put on bug repellent i think i'm gonna have to put it on every night because the mosquitoes eat me alive um what else the diet so <clears throat> on my floor that i live um, there are four other people and we all pretty much eat together. Every night we do meals together. Um, basically all I had to do was just bring the food that I had in my apartment and contribute and they're like, yeah, you're good. So basically my diet though has changed though because um, Kata who is great, um, I love her so much. You guys will meet her throughout the video, but um, she's vegan and she actually is the main person that cooks. So she, so well, you vegan. I have, I've asked everyone here, I'm like, are you vegan? Are you vegan? They're like, no, but <laughs> we all eat Kata's food and her, but her food is delicious. And everyone kind of has the same sentiments. Like, it's not like I don't eat meat or I don't eat 
it's not like I'm not vegan, but I eat meat, but I am a lover of vegan food. I still enjoy vegan food, which I think is kind of something I will align with. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, the outside and inside is a lot more intertwined when it comes to insects and things like that. So, you know, for me, like, I probably mentioned in videos had like the first week I was freaking out because like I like there's a bunch of ants in my apartment. I was like, oh my god, this is nasty. What am I doing? And actually, I was able to get rid of them <clears throat> until like literally the night before I moved. Um, a bunch of ants came back, and I was like, huh. So dealing with the presence of insects, mosquitoes, um, or me, um, ants. Um, flies, not as many, mostly the ants and the mosquitoes are the biggest ones, um, along with like a couple other random ones once in a while. I've had a couple spiders in my room. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I hate bugs, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm growing through this process. So overall, there's a lot of changes that is happening. Also the language, luckily everyone like, not everyone speaks English, but like a lot of them want to learn English, but they know some level of English, which I think is really cool. Um, but I'm definitely learning a lot of Spanish. So I think even more than just doing this video, I think this is kind of like a journal to track kind of how this all goes. Like how will, cause I think I know I will change after these three weeks. I think I already see changes in myself already from day one because night one was rough. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. There's no meat here. There's bugs everywhere. Like my room is small. <laughs> like it was rough. But more and more it's been getting better and I feel, I feel okay. So I'm excited to see what this week, these next three weeks entail. And it went like. This is the final thing. We have celery. <laughs> what did you call this? Navotino. Navotino. It's not lechuga, it's not lettuce, but mm -hmm. I don't know. We will try it, I guess. So this is what we got. A lot ready. of protein here. A lot of protein. A lot of protein. <laughs> Chocho yeah. has a lot of protein. It's a superfood. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we're waiting to check out. I will eat chifle with pasta. Like Ronaldo. Hello. You chifle? There's a correct way. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. I have to eat it the correct way. No, this is only Ronaldo's style. <laughs> Ronaldo represents all of Ecuador. Oh my god. Que vergüenza. Como llegó de otra vez. No. Es que Ay, ay. This is part of the experience, so the power is out for the big area here in Monta and um, only the first floor has power right now. So I live on the fourth floor, so I had to come down to the second And I'm about to log in with my meeting. Log into my meeting to my boss because the uh, is out there. Much, much later. So it is currently 4 p.m. and the electricity is still out. <sighs> it's hot, y'all, it's hot. And um, I'm currently just like sitting in like, um, got the Alex's apartment, like living room, like kitchen area because window is broken so I can't really open my window right now and it's really hot today and we don't even have fans because again 
the electricity's out. Um, I just finished having lunch and um, cleaning up the kitchen a bit. Um, and me and Kata had to empty out the fridge because the electricity is out. Um, apparently, like it's out like just these houses. I don't know if it's just the street or how far or how close it is, but yeah. It's um, it's a time, it's a time to say the least. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm supposed to maybe go grocery shopping in a bit, but we're also trying to think if we should even go grocery shopping because we don't have a fridge right now either. So it's just a lot of things, a lot of things. Today has been a good day. I think just an overall update. Um, it is now day, I moved in on Saturday and today is Wednesday. So I've been here Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, about four or five days now, because Saturday I came here like late in the day. Um, and I don't know, it's been pretty good. I feel like overall, I just feel myself growing as a person here. Um, I'm finding a lot more community here, which has been nice, especially because like, I don't know, I think with COVID, we all have lost a lot of connections that we value or that we, you know, especially if you're like a person that loves loves people, um, it's hard. So I think being here and like having dinner with everyone every night and like us exchanging languages, they're helping me with my Spanish and I'm helping them with their English and just talking about different topics and I don't know, just being around people, being around them I think has been really great and it's I'm feeling a lot lighter I'm feeling just positive um so yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now <laughs> so um and I'm just hanging out and um gonna see hopefully the electricity comes back on soon and um gonna see what the rest of the day has in tail, has in, has in, has in store. So, see y'all later.